Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This coffee cup is for all Aries and it's for March 2024. A little bit onwards of course with a coffee cup, you can never tell. Welcome my dear viewers, I hope you all enjoy this reading, I hope it supports you, helps you understand why certain things are happening, where you're at, where you're heading and what's coming. And I would like to take this opportunity to wish you all a wonderful, happy um happy 2024 and i'd also like to say uh, my dear viewers for those of you who are new to the um to the coffee cup i just want you to be aware that i meditate and prior to meditation i write down everything prior to the coffee cup uh, i meditate and write down everything that's given to me in meditation by your guardian angels and sorry pass this on this information on to you at the end of this reading excuse me us dehydrating so once the coffee cup is done you'll get all this information given to you um, everything you need to know all right now my dear viewers let us begin to show you what your cup looks like and here we go starting from the first thing that i see here and right hmm see just move this camera a little bit like that yes okay it looks to me like maybe not maybe actually i'm certain it's like you need to take action it's like it shows to me like as though you're procrastinating or you have been procrastinating for such a long time and it's time for you to take action in regard to a situation you really need to move forward with um with something Maybe something you have planned, you need to take action now and complete your plan, that kind of a situation I'm seeing. And, and you need to speak up for yourself. You need to sort of say, um, follow through and take necessary steps to see this matter to fruition or to, 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 to completion. Have confidence in your own ability to make things happen. Because I feel like you're sort of um what's the word you need to be in the present but dream about the future not look at, at the future and it just looks to me like you need really to take action that that's what um, it's being said here action is needed and um, that's the only way to reach success you are on the defensive side but you're finding it difficult to take action uh, but I feel like you are going to get stronger and you're going to become more uh, assertive. I also feel like you are eventually going to win. You need to know that. Criticism, there will be. Challenges, there are. But you need to stand up for yourself and your ideas and so that you can move forward because there's no other way. You won't regret your actions, so keep going. Um, planning putting your planning into motion and, and moving forward. Don't let anything stand in your way. That's all. The, that's the most important message I see here. Keep going. Now, um, in regard to a situation, or maybe it could be the same situation, there could be some confusion, some contradictions. You know, sometimes your instincts might be giving you information or, you know, letting you know things that you're not sure about, you know, what to do. The most important factor here is putting your interest aside for a moment, for some time, and sacrifice in order to achieve success. There is a certain amount of sacrifice needed to achieve success. So instead of trying to control situations or people, leave them alone and, and do what you have to do, and that is to sacrifice a little bit is it's very important. It just looks like that's the only way to actually reach to a, a success, a successful conclusion or a successful outcome for all. Deception, envy is all around you or to some degree. And it looks to me like um, you might be stuck in a way, um, not knowing how to move forward. Sometimes you're running away from decisions many choices are there and sometimes you get confused because of the choices but there's only one correct answer and the hardest one the hardest answer 
is the correct one. It's only one doorway, one path. Um, and it isn't easy. It isn't easy at all. Maybe there are some problems that are very deep in regard to commitments. Maybe they're making, they're making things worse, but I feel like, you know, as soon as you are ready, I think it needs some time before you surrender. You do need to surrender, but you do need some time to surrender. Ultimately, you are completing a chapter and surrendering, but in the meantime, you've got at least some time to keep at it, keep doing what you do best, and that is, um, you know, controlling situations. Ultimately, what I'm seeing is leaving. You are leaving. So you're doing your best and then I see leaving. And I'm seeing um, two, so two could be two weeks or two months from, from okay, we're talking uh, March, April, May. So perhaps by May, I'll say by, by May or up to May, something may happen. You might be very dis so disappointed and so dissatisfied that you are going to literally pack up and go you're taking action you're leaving a current relationship or a situation for some um and if it's a job or a situation you're moving away from it either traveling relocating getting your own thing doing your own thing but you're certainly leaving you're not happy where you are i'm seeing you move forward so you're finally going to be uh, facing uh, the end of a, a situation and a, and a very difficult situation it wasn't easy but this what's amazing the great news about this is you're starting a new future and new doorways opening and that is going to be spectacular you are going to be loving it uh, i also see it's important now for you to get free it's like the universe is freeing you for something incredible so you can take back control of your life and so that you can move forward without any problems. I do see rejection. Someone or something has made you feel rejected or rejected you. Um, and this makes you really think, you know, it's making you, making you uh, try to understand a situation. But sometimes the worst of the worst happens because something is coming to an end so i see completion so a chapter of your life that was very complicated is getting completion completed and that's what this is all about that's why there is that rejection uh, those uh, hurtful painful maybe words or it's all happening because you are completing a chapter and it's coming to an absolute and ultimately what's showing here for me to tell you is that you are at at a great triumph, there is a great victory that awaits you. A doorway of victory opens up for you. So much success will expand in your life. You will be just amazed at what's happening and what's going to be around you. But of course, you know, sometimes you ponder and wonder, why did it have to happen this way? Why did it have to end this way? Why did I have to go through all this? Sometimes, not always we understand why certain things happen. But always remember, there's always a higher purpose in everything we do. In every event in your life happens for a higher purpose. So you might find a great blessing through all this. Even though it might be hard to believe, but believe it or not, I feel like something wonderful is happening. Um, there is a situation where I'm just taking this out of the way. I'm putting it over here, this paper. Okay, Um what I'm seeing a situation is somebody's leaving someone when they're seeing them with someone. Somebody's seeing, uh, maybe witnessing something that they maybe weren't supposed to see and they're seeing it and that's why they're leaving. Maybe there might be some sort of, uh, what's the word, cheating or betrayal might be happening or seeing something that isn't right. And you couldn't, you had some of you, this is very specific for people that like, that they can't get this person close to them because they saw this person with someone. That That is showing here very strongly. And it's making me think that it's over. But then there is something like we will be together again kind of a situation. Very strange, like in, in the near future, uniting again. So there could be reconciliation. There could be understanding why certain things are happening. 
Um, I do see someone of fire energy here, very strong. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Uh, very, very strong fire energy. This person has very leadership skills and qualities and maybe you're not you're united together there may be attention there may be this could be the person that you might be leaving this could be the person that you might be meeting the next time but you know that you're dealing with i just feel like there is someone of fire energy here very strong trust is very important transformations always take place when you accept situations so the current situation will automatically change and become better once you accept it it'll be easier for you to handle once acceptance takes place but there is something to do with um something being done excessively too much there may be too much concerns about um sensuality sex lust there's too much about that and it's time for you to take action now maybe you, you need to put your foot down and say no there may be something like that i just feel like you know stepping forward and 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 seeing what is right for you and doing what is right for you you need to take up the challenge and and see where you know what lies ahead uh, what lies before you how much you can handle um your courage your faith all that uh, the driving force behind your success so know that and move forward i do feel like you are going to find sanctuary there is kind of a beautiful harmonious wonderful state of being it's opening up to your you're opening up to your spiritual source and i feel like you're you are going to be feeling very comfortable and very happy very soon i just feel like that connection i see the angel of balance watching over you and bringing you balance uh, while something is getting completed a chapter of your life somebody will need your help i can see somebody hand hand asking for help counsel they need you to heal them be mindful of this you really need uh, to support this person and and you know that they will learn valuable lessons uh, from this and this the situation could affect you also um if you are about to embark on a very new venture something that will really increase your financial security um, your ability to be successful and prosperous it's like you need to sort of activate your inner entrepreneur you know so that and believe in yourself so you can reach these goals but you are this this sort of like a, a venture is going to be spectacular you are going to be um very satisfied and optimistic about your future when this happens you'll see what i'm talking about there's still so much work to be done but you are doing well there's a lot of growth extreme growth um all over the place and i see empowerment i see you having the power to move forward something great that you've done right and you're so proud of yourself um high-tech situations there's something about high tech or you might be dealing with high-tech fields or you know um there is tremendous power that's that's without a doubt and there there may be dealings with um a lot of concentration may be needed in regard to high tech situations could be high tech field um determination and strength are with you and you're very very strong so nothing can stand in your way and your personality will overcome all problems because you've got the power to get things moving to get things done i feel like you know um you're taking charge taking action and all is going well a lot of money is pouring in a lot of blessings but a lot of money and you are going to gain so much control over your financial like you have never gained or maybe you know this time you're gaining more than, than you've ever had before increased increased personal power and you're developing an understanding uh, means of how to deal with your financial success and how to manage it well and what to do and where to invest it um how to deal with it how to put it in a, in a good situation so it can work for you all that you're going through all that um and i also see you helping others you are supporting those around you you're very supportive especially to one person and um, i am also seeing that like it looks to me like you are living a life of wonder a life of luxury if you're not you will be very soon a very comfortable life uh, a life where you know even though you're still cautious about your money but you are able to live 
in a wonderful house and a wonderful uh, environment. I also see um, large sums of money coming to you. It could be part of inheritance. It might be coming uh, not yet, but soon, very soon. You're coming into a large sum of money. Be careful with financial advisors. Always try to look at the bigger picture and see two, three, so that you can make proper um, you know, decisions. I, this could be also lottery winning, so have a look at your money reading. There's lucky numbers in this uh, community section of this channel. And in, the, in your um, money reading, you'll know all about that. There is an investment paying off big time, so that, that's there. It's, it's showing there big time. I do see contracts, paperwork, signing documents. Maybe this is about the money or the inheritance. Or even a windfall, there could be papers, documents, checks, um, a lot of situations like that, learning about things. There is also something about law, lawyer, or something to do with needing a lawyer, maybe. Um, maybe it's to do with contracts. You need a lawyer to sign a contract, so just make sure that you have got some sort of a solicitor or barrister if it's a big situation. Now, um, I'm seeing here something like that looks to me like a wonderful uh, wheel of fortune i've got the w there big time and a key it's as though destiny is going to unlock a doorway for you and this personal growth extreme change that brings you uh, like a, a rebirth a promise of a better future destiny fate are allowing you to have uh, what you've always wanted, what you've always loved, you're having that. But destiny is going to be controlling situations to take you to that next level. So there is going to be a rebirth, a new beginning, a new lease of life. There's a lot of freedom in that, a lot of freedom, uh, a rebirth. But also there is someone that could be um, planning against you. You've got to take care. There may be someone like an enemy or somebody that is planning against you. This could not be about everybody, but there is something that just uh, you've got to be careful. Sometimes, you know, when we say these things, I, um, I there is also sometimes like the there are certain months or certain, you know, years they are our enemies because of uh, the numbers and everything that plays a role. It doesn't have to be a person. All you have to do is just take extra care. That's all. I do see a beautiful soul around you um, and the beginning of a new romance. There's a lot of attraction, a lot of love. This relationship is going to work. It's going to be really good, but you need to sort of plan well as to where to be, where to meet, what place. Um, uh, the foundation, like, is to do with other, you know, like your house, my house, is family involved. There could be... Um, there's a decision that needs to be made where to meet and where to spend quality time together. Maybe you're both living with families or there may be, you know, situations where you need to get a place to, to meet up. There's a lot of loving. Uh, emotional spending is going to be part of this. So you might be putting money together and spending to see each other, uh, joining your finances together to support each other, to see each other. You know, um, that's really romantic. There's a lot of crazy romance going on. Um, I also see like, you know, you're loving this. You are loving what's happening here. It's going to be something that's so magical. You deserve love and you are very lovable. And the more you're getting to know this person, the more you're getting, um, you're becoming closer and closer. And you're, you're smiling. You're smiling like you haven't smiled in a long time. I see this person is really uh, sort of someone that, opens their heart and you can trust this person very very easily um they love who you are they just they're so into you and there's so much happiness coming with this person now um my dear aries what i'm seeing is very strong earth energy here and being number one one two three four capricorn capricorn being number one out of all of this so this person might have a lot of capricorn in them major Capricorn yeah and and another strange thing about this person now for some of you it could be just Capricorn but for others I'm seeing uh, they're very strong Taurus in them with with Libra strange enough Taurus with Lib Libra which will make them very romantic and extremely uh, sensual very much into passion so Taurus with Libra mixed 
Okay, so um, another star sign of this person could be a Gemini. A Gemini mixed with Virgo. <laughs> I'm amazed that I'm seeing the mixes now. Uh, so Gemini with Virgo. Wow. Very strong here. Now, there's also Aquarius. There's just two of those, two Aquarius, and there's just one Libra. But Gemini with Virgo three times. So very strong. Remember that. Now, the other thing is this person also may have um i did say a libra didn't i yes libra they've got water energy yeah i saw another there were two libras so of course remember i said before that there was taurus with virgo and uh, sorry taurus with libra and now i'm seeing gemini with virgo but there's also water energy i see water energy very strong scorpio being number one and then uh with scorpio there is one two three scorpio two cancer and two pisces so it shows that there is water energy within this person. Very important to know that. There could be uh, um, very strong, very strong fire in this person also because I'm seeing fire all over the place. And the fire, let me just see what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm seeing Aries, which is you, of course, but they could have Aries in them because one, two, three, the Rams, three Aries. So Aries, they, they could have strong Aries and that will unite you because you'll be so much alike. Uh, I also see one, two, three Sagittarius and one lion, one Leo. So Sagittarius strong, Aries very strong in this person. But the most strongest one was the Capricorn. There were four Capricorn. Remember that. Okay, so earth energy and earth and fire go beautiful together. You both need each other. You both thrive when you're together and you can build mountains together. Uh, and your love life will be spectacular, a lot of stability, a lot of loving. And the passion that was, it's the fire. Could be, could be Sagittarius, the fire that you blend together, or Aries like yourself. Now, I'm seeing Chinese year of, I'll, I'll go through the Chinese years very quickly, because I know a lot of people are not much into Chinese and they don't know it, but there are those who are into them. And I like to cater for those people too, because I myself love Chinese uh, and I know the, the depth of it, how much it uh, affects our life. So Chinese year of the pig here, the strongest. Then I've got the Chinese year of the rabbit. These are the two strongest because I'm seeing four of each. Chinese year of the pig, Chinese year of the rabbit, cat. Uh, then there is the horse, one, two, three horses. Chinese year of the horse, Chinese year of the rat, Chinese year of the monkey. So it could be yourself or the person. And then there's Chinese year of the goat, Chinese year of the rooster, Chinese year of the tiger and the dragon and there is also an ox here one two oxes chinese year of the ox finally so these are the years that are shown it could be in the midst of those any of those chinese years either yourself or the person that you are dealing with and now my dear viewers glasses down and i'm going to go through all the doc all the paper all the information that was given to me to pass on to you so i'll go through it very quickly it says divine god got your back so they've got your back. That's really beautiful. The Van God got your back. Then it says, enjoy somebody who enjoys golf. Something about golf. You might go and try a golf game and you might really enjoy it. Enjoys golf. March is going to impact your life, which is this reading is for March. March is going to be really um, major in your life. Something big is going to happen. Control. You are in control. Something is, you know, there's something to do with control and you are in control. October, somebody born in October. Remember I said there is a Taurus with Libra. There were two Libras. There was two Taurus with Libra also. So remember that. Uh, October is people who are born. Uh, I know that because I'm a Libra myself. October are people born uh, Libra. But also uh, October is October on its own. The month is going to impact you on a high level. And also people born in October are Scorpio. So there were two Scorpios also in, in your reading. So it could be somebody that you're dealing with who's a Libra or, or Scorpio, or they could be Taurus with Libra. Now, something spooky, something scary. Um, I don't like to deliver negative messages, but it's there. I was given this and I've got to give you the good and the bad. Something scary that might happen. Uh, but you will be in control, so that's very good. And you are, divine's got your back, remember that. Uh, so you are protected. Someone with strong hands. Uh, then I got the end, something is ending. And then there is um, the, the past. Oh my God, it's the past that's ending. So you're letting go of the past, moving forward. Something is false, and you need to know that it's not real, it's false. Uh, parrot, now the parrot is... 
you have to be very careful with your expression, the way you express yourself, so that you're not saying something that's that might be true but very harsh. You got to be very careful with your expression. Also, Chinese year of the rooster. Someone that's born in the Chinese year of the rooster is going to impact your life somehow in the in the month of March. Then I've got a monkey. Those of you who are born in the Chinese year of the rooster, or those of you who are born in the Chinese year of the monkey. Monkey again here. See how Chinese years are important. They come from even the guiding angels. Uh, they refer to people according to, to that, to their star signs. Monkey. And then we've got Chinese year of the rat and Chinese year of the buffalo. Remember at the end I said, I said there were two oxes, two buffaloes. So I was given an ox again. This is the third time. Going now to towards the initials. I've got H twice given to me. H for honey. H for um um holland twice c for canada c for charlie v for victor v for violet uh, j for jamaica j for japan d for dog d for donut q for quail q for quilt a alaska um afghanistan <laughs> okay and then we've got um numbers i was given number nine chinese year of the monkey people born in september again are libra or virgo uh, nine itself september is going to impact you on a high scale one last challenge and it's all over then there's a lot of happiness and a lot of entertainment september from the time you see this cup up to nine weeks or up to september there's going to be one challenge overcome and uh, great entertainment happiness and planning a lot of fun stuff a lot of action now the next number is number one a new beginning from the time you see this up to one month a new beginning um it's also connected to chinese year of the rat which we had the rat before given to us somebody that might be close to you or somebody a situation to do with the rat a new beginning for them maybe and then there is uh january people born in january which are remember we had four capricorns so this is the fifth capricorn capricorn is january and also aquarius there were two three aquarius now becomes three aquarius maybe but the capricorn became five so it's and it's, it's showing to me that a lot of areas are going to be dealing with people that have a lot of capricorn in them uh, then finally i've got number two. Oh my god the chinese year of the buffalo ox just like we had the ox twice three times and now the fourth time chinese year of the ox or buffalo whether it's yourself or someone close to you um buffalo ox they call it either one people born in february which are piscians and aquarians and two is all about plenty happening in partnerships from the time you see this up to two months non-stop action non-stop action taking a lot of things happening in relationships and partnerships so that is the end of that i do hope you enjoyed it my dear viewers do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think and please do watch the video all the way till the end in support of me without stopping it that is the greatest support and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so it's absolutely free and it does help me big time i wish you abundance of blessings can't wait to hear your comments do give me a thumbs up if you like this reading and also i look forward to um, doing more readings for you as time goes by um, a lot of love and light, a lot of blessings in everything you do. Namaste.